Tonight begins a new era for the CBS Evening News. Jeff Glor takes over as anchor of the evening broadcast. I recently had the chance to speak with Jeff about the example he chooses to set in this new role and what the legacy of the position means to him. Being the best friend and colleague that I can be, trying to lead by example and, and practicing the best journalism that we practice every single day, doing the job that I know that we can all do, that I've seen my colleagues do consistently here for the past ten and a half years at CBS News. Um, I know we can provide the best reporting, the best writing, and the best storytelling, and I, um, I am really looking forward to highlighting that every single night. Let's talk about that job. You've covered thousands of stories, breaking news, human interest stories. What comes to mind when it comes to an assignment that touched not only your heart, but the news viewers as well? And what will you tell your grandchildren, say, years from now? Oh, my goodness. Um, wow, that's, uh, that's pretty daunting, thinking about grandchildren. <laughs> I, listen, when I was in um, Wyoming this, this year to watch the eclipse, yes. That was pretty special. I'm not sure that in that way anything can match that. Watching that, the totality for two plus minutes, it was something you really had to see to believe, and it was special. I was hoping you were going to say that because I was moved along <laughs> with you just feeling and seeing your reaction. Did you get comments like that afterwards at all? Thank you. Well, that, that means a great deal to me, Yuki. I, I, sometimes I think it's important not to talk over some of these moments and mm -hmm. just let them uh, play out and let, people, and let people see that happen. I think whether you're, watching, uh, whether you're watching an eclipse or a sporting event or a political event, no matter what it is, sometimes, sometimes those moments don't need words. So true, so true. Hey, Jeff, I saw a video where your first job was delivering the newspaper. Were you destined for this <laughs> industry? What do you think? I, my parents would probably tell you that. I, I think I didn't know that at the time, even though I loved reading the newspaper and I loved paying attention to sports box scores. I initially went to school as a pre-dentistry major, so I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted. To, my uncle and grandfather were both dentists, that's why. So I took my first chemistry course and realized very quickly it wasn't for me. So no, I, I didn't know at that time, um, but, um, but I like where I'm at now. Tune in for the CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor tonight at 6.30 p.m. following Eyewitness News at 6.